Hey everybody, how's it going? Fast Emerald here for another video, and uh, today um, <clears throat> I'm reviewing Seth Blame's per pushable blocks um, in Minecraft. This is a uh, data pack. They, um, I'll leave the link to uh, Seth's actual video in the description so you can download it. And it's really cool. Uh, of course, it uses armor stands because that's like a Seth thing to do. But yeah, it uses armor stands. It uses um, shulkers for the hitbox, um, and it also uses falling blocks to cover the actual invisible shulker. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get straight into the actual blocks that you can um, convert. So this, I just created a super plant. This is just a regular village, you know. Um, uh, oops, excuse me. But yeah, this is a list of every single block that you can convert. Um, some of them you can still almost see the shulker head, such as the hopper, the anvils, and the, uh, the cauldron. But for the most part, it's relatively foolproof. Um, the glass, uh, will I'll show you that in a little bit. I really wanted to convert the magma block, because, uh, uh, it actually creates fire, and, uh, and I think any kind of ice block destroys fire. Um, um, I know that regular ice and packed ice do, because I saw packed ice in his video, and I saw regular ice, you know, regularly. <clears throat> uh, you can't convert shulker boxes, because they don't have a proper, like, falling block model. And, um... Uh, don't, uh, don't push, um, well, don't push any of these blocks in water, but especially don't push these guys in water, because, you'll, you'll, um, it'll turn into concrete, and then the shulker will, like, uh, go somewhere else. I also had to turn these blocks into, um, special blocks immediately, because else they just, uh, you know, dry up. <clears throat> or just, else they just dry up. Uh, not because else. Anyways, yeah, um, and then these are the final few blocks, um, so yeah, um, this is gonna be a bit of a boring bit, cause I'm just gonna be converting every single block, um, <clears throat> so yeah, um, uh, let me know in the comments below if you want me to do a tutorial on how to download data packs, okay? Cause, um, it's actually really simple, you just gotta go into the, um, dot minecraft, what? Just do the video. <clears throat> okay, anyways, yeah, yeah, um, gotta go into the, uh, dot minecraft file that saves yeah um oops uh, oh um d there we go um uh pushables create block okay um actually here um options accessibility settings narrator off rainbow is playing lego worlds just change it to English UK. Okay. Cause yeah, um, Canadian English is actually closer to UK English than it is to US English. Although we do have aluminum T I R E for tire and. Uh, I also turned the random tick speed off so that way the dirt would stay dirt. So yeah, um. As you can see, all the rotational values and stuff are disappearing. Um, no but yeah, all credit goes to Seth Bling for this amazing data pack. Um, subscribe to his YouTube channel, um, check out his videos, do all that fun stuff. What? Oh, I think the game froze for some reason. Okay, the game froze! Okay, please don't stay frozen for long. <laughs> I need to get back to my video! <clears throat> Maybe it can't handle bedrock. <laughs> it just can't handle, like, falling bedrock with handles and. No, not handles, up um, with shulkers and armor stands. But yeah, when you push them, they actually sound like a minecart. <clears throat> so that's why in my little subtitles corner, right around here, um, you might be able to see, like, minecart rolls whenever I push something. Kate, why isn't this working? What's it say? It says save model. Downloadable content. Enter code. Play online. Continue adventure mode. Continue sandbox mode. Galaxy map. Play online. Settings. Enter code. Dun, 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 continue adventure mode. Okay, there we go. Okay, good. We're back. 
Zach, baby! Yeah, the de um, I think I said this before, but the default block is for this is um, <clears throat> uh, diamond block. But if I didn't say that before, then yeah. If I did say that before, then sorry for the repetition. But yeah, you have to run this as an execute command, else, you know, it'll just turn the block that you're in into the block. And, um, uh, I don't know, is it sand? <clears throat> and I'm pretty sure this only, in the survival mode, this would only work if you either have ender pearls or, uh, much more cheaply, sand. So yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm writing an execute command that just um, executes at a block lower than me, so that way I can just step on all these blocks and convert them. <clears throat> yeah, you can you can almost tell the difference between oops, <laughs> you can almost tell the difference between um uh, regular blocks and um <clears throat> pushable blocks because pushable blocks um don't la allow any light to go through. Oh jeez, I almost forgot. Um. Uh, here, I'm just going to my save toolbars. No, not jigsaw block, I don't think. Um, I, I tried jigsaw block. Yeah, I've updated this to, um, the latest snapshot with a jigsaw block and a crossbow. <laughs> and structure block. So yeah, these blocks can also be converted as well. I'll do that at the end of the video. Um, well, not at the end of the What's video. What's the jigsaw but block? Um, it's a block used to generate pillager outposts and stuff. <clears throat> but, um, yeah, well, not the end of the video, but, like, you know, um, the end of the other block showcase. So, yeah, um, uh, how's your day you go, Ben? Fine. I'm not talking to you! Why would I be talking to you? I'm talking to the viewers. Main. Eh, I might be. Strip wood. You strip. No, strip but wood. I said you're stripped. I'm okay. Sure. Like that. Um. Uh, I actually placed these in the um. Like, for facing blocks, I place them in the direction they'd be facing when converted. Um, yeah. Um, I don't think the wet sponge will make particles any longer, because it's a falling block. It would be cool if falling blocks had certain properties, just for those that map maker inside you. <clears throat> um, yeah, turn off, uh, game rule, send command feedback. Um, just so that the text doesn't constantly spam your chat. So yeah, um, I don't think any mobs or entities will be able to push these blocks, but, you know. As you can see, it's already starting to lag the world, so... Yeah, I think you get the idea. <clears throat> um... I'll do some of the special blocks, like the ones that aren't, like, full blocks, such as the chest. Jeez, I'm really lagging. Computer's chugging already. Okay, there we go! Oh, what? What block did that even convert? Did that convert the grass below? It did. Yeah, it did, okay. <laughs> well, win some, you lose some. Here, I've got... There we go, okay. Now... Nah. Oh, uh, great block. There we go. Oh, what? It worked them. before. Huh. Maybe they can't. Okay, well, chess cannot. I don't think. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I, I think they can. Um, why am I grabbing my sword? There's another command that you can use. Um, great block, remove here. So yeah, um, chess cannot, I did, uh, test the farmland earlier today, so yeah. It doesn't work, and, like, while I was setting up, I tested some of these blocks. Oh, oops, no. Whoa. No, 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 ah, I'm lagging so badly. Jeez. So that's some next level lag. Oops. 
no, not remove here. Create block. There we go. Hooray. Also, F3 and B will show you the hitbox a bit. But yeah, all of these have the hitbox of a full block. Here, I'll just pick block the ice. <clears throat> oh yeah, farmland, of course, has the hitbox of a regular block as well. Um, so yeah, chests uh, can't, but I know the anvils for a fact can. Create block here. Oh, um, I get to say. It says characters categories. No. It says Mac. The search thing. Um. So yeah, any anvils can. Or just. Cause I want to make sure that everyone knows exactly what I'm reading. For you. Okay. Yeah. Hoppers look funny. Um. Oh. I I, I did want to show you the uh, glass, so I'll do that after I show you the slime. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I mean, maybe some of these, uh, well, I mean, it hides the block nice, and these blocks are actually affected by slime blocks as well, like pistons and slime blocks. Here's what I mean, they just kind of turn into a color, that color, they turn into that color. They almost look like concrete, but they're not, because if I do get some concrete... A slightly different color. But yeah, I mean, if you want an even smoother concrete, can I can I pick you up, please? What's this say? Uh, it says characters category it's mech, but that's not how you spell mech. It's M E C H. Um. Oh yeah, magma blocks. Um, I converted. The, yeah, like I said before, I converted this already. Grab another magma block. Um, oh, Observer, let's see the Observer. Yeah, Observers are weird, because, like, why is the shelter showing? I actually don't think it can handle so many of these in one world. Um, remove all. It only Th did there we go, alrighty. Alright, uh. I actually have not tested the other um, ice to see if they can uh, change the fire. I've tested regular ice. Great block. Regular ice. Great block. Packed ice. So, due to the fact that uh, none of the 1.14 blocks actually have a, a cust. Uh, custom uh, <clears throat> thingy. You're wrong. Then you. what do you mean I'm wrong? Look. Oh, that's well. Yeah, that's how you spell mech. There's no mech suits in Lego worlds. There's obviously none. Well, who's that? Motorcycle mechanic. 1950s mechanic. Okay. Yep. Alrighty. Um. Now. I'll. There we go. Okay. Now if I push this, it creates fire. I'm gonna test the blue ice out first. So blue ice works. That's cool. What about pack ice? Pack ice. Okay. Um. Pack ice seems. To... Wait. What? What if I do this? Okay, they just repel. <laughs> oh, I forgot! I forgot that they did that! Yeah, Seth made it so that um, magma and ice would repel. And finally, regular ice. Yeah, any translucent block becomes opaque. What if I remove all? I'm gonna grab some more ice. And then. Oh, yes, yeah. 
<laughs> I grab uh, some, oh, some skeletons are on me. Then I just make the floor out of ice, cause you know why not. And then I uh, magma block ice. Top ten anime battles. Top ten only. What? Okay, so it looks like they actually aren't affected by ice. <laughs> this is a small place. Um, I'm gonna remove all of them again. I'm gonna put these there and these there. Wait. Now what happens if? Okay, I want to do something. I, I'm curious, and curiosity killed the cat. But you know, what cat? Same. Oops, no, let's remove all. Create block. Create block. Create block. Create block, and then create block. Block. And also, um. Oh, this is a little Japanese world. Cool. And also the um, uh. <clears throat> another way to tell the difference is the uh, regular blocks do have a hitbox, while the pushable blocks do not. So yeah, I really hope um this doesn't lag up my world too much. Actually, I don't really care about the squirrel, but you know. Now I want to do that. <laughs> okay, I did something. So all, it's actually like pushing all of the uh, mangle blocks into a corner. <laughs> oh jeez. Um, what I was trying to display here was the, uh, so I can actually, like, get up onto this block, if you convert it, is the fact that you can actually use these blocks as ceilings. Uh, okay, well, it doesn't work too well, but, you know, uh, like, if there's no support to the block, but, you know. You went so you Okay, um here, I'll remove all. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Anyways. Um oh yeah. Spawners also look super weird. It looks like a shulker head spawner that you can push. And also holding shift will allow you to pull it. Which is kind of cool. Um, what if I do another design where it's like this? Wait. Looks like a checkerboard pattern. to an interesting start with uh okay that's actually kind of boring move all oh geez i just removed all again 
But yeah, this is like a really, really cool thing. You guys should definitely check it out. Really cool. I'll remind you all to do the link. Okay, yeah, thanks. Well, I'll try to. This is <laughs> turtly. Oops, I didn't mean to press F. No, I want to press D. So, yeah. There we go. Okay, perfect. Now, every single block a pushable. See what happens. Oh, jeez. <laughs> They've already, like, uh, put themselves into corners. Except for that one low nice block. Um, what if I make a little thing, make it pushable, and now I make a pushable ice block on top. <laughs> it's just gonna stay there. Okay. Not exactly expected, but you know. Fire and ice! <laughs> and. Whee! <laughs> oh, Seth. You're, 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 you are the man. You're. You're the man. But, um, uh. Slime blocks do not bounce, I know that much. Jeez, it's all oh, it's already over twenty minutes. Um Let's just throw that twenty minute mark away. Yeah, whatever. Wait, no, I don't I don't want it to be a regular piston, I want a sticky piston. Actually, wait, I need to put this one block lower in the ground. Oh, I'll just use melons because I know for a fact that it cannot be pushed or pulled by slime blocks. Okay, good. Great block. And Wee 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 Okay, maybe if I just just a tiny bit slower. done with that Japanese world. <laughs> Wait, I actually want to see a slime block bouncing on another slime block. Job edition items don't bounce on slime blocks, but that would be really cool if they did. Just knock on 
ball. I'll show you what I mean by melons cannot be pushed or pulled by pistons. That's what happens if they get pushed, they turn into melons. Wait, what if I do like a tiny little 2 by one thing? Where it's just ice and magma duking it out to the death. Well, maybe not to the death, because blocks can't really die. <laughs> but, oddly enough, melons can become these and therefore can be can now be pushed by pistons. <laughs> That's my favorite thing to do. I love it. It's so Ooh. fun. I just hopped on Boop. an eagle. Boop. <laughs> Breaks. I kind of feel weird sitting on an eagle. <laughs> Cover entire thing with buttons. So apparently extended pistons cannot have stuff on them, but regular pistons can. It's just another one of those quirks of the Java edition. What's up <laughs> you? It's all little quirks. Oh. Twerk it, shake it. Okay, no! What? No mentioning twerking in my video. <laughs> oh god. Oh jeez. <laughs> okay, so now the uh, piston arm has now been partially replaced by a melon. Okay. Wait, no, I just needed to push. 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 Um, here. Yeah, um. So yeah, um, have fun with this, uh, data pack in your world. Wait, I'm gonna need to do something. Great block. Yeah! This is revolutionary for the melon. He can now fit in with the other blocks and is push is now pushable by a piston. Fortunately, you can't, um, place pushables on top of blocks, but you can have pushables on top of other pushables. Yeah, like that's what I mean. So here, um, I'm just gonna start dropping, um, <coughs> blocks. Whoa! Drop blocks. Oh jeez. Oh no. Okay. Well, whatever. I don't like that block. I'm gonna throw melons on it. Ooh, I wonder what's in the chest. Great block. Great block, sure, why not? Let's have a diamond block. Doesn't really fit in too well with the glasses. Actually, let's have an another diamond block as a buddy. Then, wait, no, I don't need that many diamonds, but you know, whatever. Come on, come on, come on, another diamond. Let's push you. But yeah, um, Seth also showed that they work as a ceiling as well. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, that thing just collapsed. See a world. Um, yeah, um, I actually used this, um, on my, uh, pretend Minecraft world. I used, um, I made myself a pushable emerald and I made Rainbow Zombie a pushable melon stem. Because, uh, melon stems actually look like, um, uh, frosting blocks and, you know, he has a cake on his head, so, yeah. That'd be really cool if mountain stems? Or no, mushroom stem. <laughs> Not melon stem. Sorry guys. Mushroom stem. I'm an idiot. <laughs> I am an idiot. <laughs> Where's your pushable emerald? It's uh up here. See? And I can also pull it as well. I'm gonna pull it around. I'll pull it. I need to come on. Yeah. Now I'll push it. <laughs> there we go. Push it. Push it real good. Oh, I also I have also replaced these with black fish because interestingly, um, uh, black is the only color that fish cannot be. 
So, um, I completely broke that rule and used commands, namely MC Stacker, to get myself these. These, uh, entirely black fishes. And, um, I named their buckets, um, to, like, the data value of fish, so, zero, small, zero, big. Actually, um, here, you know what, um, sorry about this viewers, but I'm just gonna do a quick little reorganize. Zero, big, one, small, one, big. Two small. Wait, no, that's one. Two small. Not too small. Where's too big? Oh my butt! Too big. Three small, three big. Four. Four small, four big. Five small, five big. Okay, good. Um, I've just found some of these. Uh, naturally. Tomato clownfish, blue tang, and clownfish. I called it Canada fish because it kind of looks like the Canadian flag. Um. Uh, yeah. <clears throat> Here, I'll just teleport to Rainbow's Rainbow's house now. Um. Here's. Oh, he added an attic to himself. If you guys couldn't tell. Um. Uh. Here's the pushable mu mushroom stem. Look. Um, yep, can you come here? Oh. Mushroom stem, please. Thank you. Um, oh, caps lock is on. Um, come here, melon stem. Come here. Who's a good melon stem? Who's a good melon stem? Not a melon stem. Okay, come here. Come here. Come here. Come here, you little cute little melon stem looking thing. Someone died. Oh. Yeah, he found a he found a Lego skeleton. Uh, oh. Okay, so it looks like you can't sandwich them between carpets. Which sucks. In my in my humble opinion. But you know, that's just my humble opinion. So yeah. If you like the fact that you can't sandwich them between carpets, then let us know in the comments below. Basically, just, you know, use the comments that you normally would. Um, <clears throat> oh, stairs. Right, yeah. I forgot to showcase the stairs feature. Um, this might be time enough to shoehorn in, like, a little you know, world thing. Ooh! There are two new blocks that have been recently added. I don't think I'll do a video on them, because they've been added just not like a while ago now in terms of snapshots but yeah look at cut sandstone and cut red sandstone slabs ported straight from the bedrock edition usually bedrock edition ports features from the java edition but this time it's the other way around yeah which i'm kind of surprised oh wait so, so yes yeah, this might be a good time slash function Pushables create blo Oh, I forgot to execute it. I forgot to make it an execute command. Oops. Okay, well, whatever. I can push a diamond block up there. Why not? Yeah, I'm pretty sure because of the fact they can go up uh, stairs means they can also go up slabs. Just see. Or maybe uh, he just made it so that you can only convert tents. Okay. Slabs. Yeah, it looks like they made it so that you can only make them go upstairs. Oh, here's my brown mushroom, by the way. I have a pet brown oh, mushroom cool. now. The brown, compared to the usual red one. Brown mushrooms are from striking a normal mushroom with lightning. And you can, you can, they're actually interchangeable. You can turn a brown mushroom into a red mushroom and vice versa. Um, oh yeah, about update videos, I'm going back on the update video topic again. Uh, I think the next update video I'm gonna do is, um, the actual 1.14 release. So, yeah, um, I think I'll just have one for 1.14, and, yeah. Um, <laughs> okay. Was a 
corner stair. Like that. And that had to be like that, and that had to be like that. Okay, nope. <laughs> Forget it! I was trying to fix the monstrosity that is the R, but... Guess not. No, jeez, no, I don't want water. Okay, you know what, whatever, water's flowing everywhere already. <laughs> so, um, yeah, oof. I'm gonna grab water bucket, so that way when I'm all done. Um, if, yeah, if you guys have any ideas on how I might be able to, uh, fix the R, then, uh, let me know. I'm gonna remove these blocks. This, this is actually looking nice. How's the, how's the pushable block moving without anyone interacting with it? But yeah, this is really cool. You can push them upstairs. I also have a few foxes in, in here swimming as well. I was testing out the foxes on this world, and they just happened to go into the aqua land. Um, along with some turtles. Um, yeah, uh, ooh, um, gotta do the other thing as well. Um, ooh, I just got an idea. Yeah, there we go. Looks not horrible. I mean, it still doesn't look great, but it doesn't look bad, you know better than it did before, if it looked any different before, <laughs> um, yeah, um, okay, uh, I know for a fact that water can't be, uh, converted, so yeah, this video is getting extremely long and probably boring, so, uh, yeah, see you all later for another video, goodbye!